So what's up guys, good morning, welcome to another video. Today, uh, I'm really excited for this video uh, and for what we're doing to the car today. Now, it's nothing performance-wise, it's nothing special, but I've always wanted these since seeing them for the first time. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you what it is until we get to motion. I'm gonna get the, uh, the guy there to go through what they actually are and what benefits they have, because I don't even know myself, but we're gonna pick Adam up. We're heading down to Tegua slash Motion Motorsport, getting something done on the car, really looking forward to it. I've got my moose juice because it's an early morning. Gonna pick Adam up. Let's hit the road. Hello, Adam. Home from home. <laughs> oh, there's some weapons down here today. NSX is here. Skyline. Is the turbo Civic here? That might be it in the corner. Yes. Dave's just taking it for a quick test drive. Why does she look so much better in motion's garage? Yeah, so uh, Dave's just going over the whole car, making sure everything's all nice and neat, nothing's hanging off or nothing's where it shouldn't be. Uh, he's just going to check the car and then we're going to get started. I think he's going to do he's going to do my insert as well for the engine mount because uh, it's got a bit of a crack in it, but. Love the work down here, already cracking on, making sure everything's all sweet. I am picking up something while I'm here as well, it's very special and very expensive. Um, that'll be a future video, but I'm really looking forward to this. It's a, uh, it's a big mod, it's a big mod. That's definitely seen better days, 100%. Yeah, so this is Dave. How do you make it? Go on, shake man, get that oil on me. Yeah, this is Dave, this is uh, the guy that pretty much is motion. Yeah. And what do you do here? Pretty much, uh, pretty much everything, mate. Um, try and focus mainly on on Japanese uh, Hondas, BMWs. Yeah. Um, building and prepping race cars. Um, we do quite a lot of fast road stuff, road car stuff, stuff such as yourselves. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Pretty much everything. Yeah. Quite literally. Nice fast road stuff, really. As you can see, <laughs> nothing they don't do here. <laughs> it's crazy. If you've ever been down here as well to Tegwa. Just have a look in the garage. It's next level stuff. <laughs> but yeah, we're just, uh, he's putting some inserts in my engine mounts because, you know, that one's definitely one's gone through a bit of a hard is. time. <laughs> so that's going to be improved. Uh, we are picking something up, like I said before, from Tegua after this video. What did I come here for? Aero catchers. We actually, I'm getting some aero catchers installed. Now, if you don't know what aero catchers are, I didn't until I knew. Um, they're pretty much these. That's pretty much what aero catchers are. So the bonnet latch gets taken out. Uh, the bonnet cable, the, the pulley cable gets taken out as well. And you just have locking latches for your bonnet. Um, what, what, what benefit do you say aero catchers would give? Uh, so basically, uh, oh, there is one. <laughs> any race series, you yeah. need to have uh, an externally operated um, mechanical catch to be able to open the bonnet. So right. uh, you have a fire. A marshal can come across, open the bonnet from the outside, you know, put a fire out or anything like that. Okay. Um, so there's obviously d different kind of mechanical catches that you can use on the market mm -hmm. from uh, a standard sort of bonnet pin. Yeah. Um, which is on this car. They're really cheap. Um, quite an old school way of doing it, really. Oh, so they're quite literally just pins that slide in and out. Which is fine. Um, and it does the job. It's absolutely fine. It's a really cheap way of doing it. Yeah. But for something like yours, when you're using the car on the road, if you've got no standard bonnet catch, yeah, and the only thing that's securing your bonnet is these, anyone can help themselves. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so the aero catches A are stronger, B look better, and C you've got the the, the option of having a, a, a lock on there as well. So Sweet. For your car, obviously, we'll fit the locking one so no one can get into the bonnet. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just a, a much nicer way of doing it than this. This is so there. Is, there is some benefits because I was kind of just going for. Yeah, I mean, they look sick. The, the, the benefit is <laughs> to be honest. that they are a much more secure way of holding the bonnet down than the standard catch. All right, so fair enough. Say on your car, like hundred thousand miles. If yeah. the spring is stuck on the catch and you don't notice, you drop the bonnet, get in the car, and it's only secured on the second latch, which is only again rusty, so the pins yeah. are sort of seized, mm -hmm. and it doesn't secure on the second latch. You leave. Uh, the body comes up and hits it. Right. Yeah. So it is kind of a, a safety feature. Would yeah. you say at about 100,000 miles, something could go wrong with bonnet latch? Uh, it could. I mean, it could, it like, couldn't, like kind of thing. Any, any car that's 100,000 miles, if, whether it's been looked after or not, things yeah. break. Things can go wrong. Mechanical moving parts on the car. So um, anything that you replace, it was always worth upgrading. Yeah. Um, for something like this, 
where you're upgrading something where you're cutting holes in the bonnet and yeah. someone that's got like a, a road car that they could take um, to work and back and just do the shopping probably not the best idea yeah um, you know, <laughs> you're better off just getting a brand new honda honda catch yeah but the cables fail on an ep3 really common issue oh are they, they? Snap the ends off oh did not know that um, so a lot of people replace just the cable itself um, right if, like for your car when you're gonna do things to modify it in the future and upgrade it in the future why not do that's it it's kind of like a one-time fix exactly. in it yeah exactly. right sweet i'm glad that there's some benefits <laughs> <laughs> okay so these are the catchers and these sit on the bonnet like so you've probably seen them on a lot of uh, cup cars and a lot of other civics but i just think they look sick and obviously they are in a way a bit of a safety feature obviously you get two keys there to go to unlock them um oh no you get four keys just in case because i know i'll lose them and i think he's lining them up so they're the pins and they're what connect into there and you line them up with the the little dint there now go steady, that's been on there 13 years. What's mad to think is the engine that's in that is in that. that that's just it's just weird isn't it like oh. so if, if anyone's watched the video where I came and I got the tour um, when Jim took me for the tour around Tegwa um, if you watch that video you'd have seen this NSX parked in the corner when it was literally before it had even been started to, to be worked on that's this exact same car that old NSX that used to be in that corner, or Dave doing bits. Didn't even realise the cable's already out. That's it, no more, no more bonnet, latch, cable. Dave's uh, got it out for me, gone. Oh no, I don't like them, can you take them off? <laughs> no, they look sick, man. Well, they look fucking old there. <laughs> ah, they look mega. Happy? Yeah, love them, mate, love them. They look proper cool. Sick, aren't they? Yeah, I really like them. Know what we'll do when we get up. Oh, and you missed a bit down the side of the door there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, also while we're here, um, I'm going to get the valve clearances done as well. Um, don't know if it actually needs doing, but it's always good to get it done. And obviously while we're here, it's on the jack. Uh, Dave's going to do the valve clearance as well. So should be driving in like a new car and then I'm going in the office to um, pick up something rather special for the car that's going to change it, change it completely. I've never had these on a car either ever that I've, that I've owned so I'm looking forward to it it's but um, we're, we're going to book in for a couple of weeks to get them actually fitted but we are picking up today so looking forward to that we'll be coming back for more are you looking at <laughs> so what difference does the valve clearances make then what what so would basically the valve clearances that gap there okay so the, the the gap between the top of the valve and the bottom of the rocker arm. Yeah. So when the cam turns around, mm -hmm. when it's on the base circle there, yeah. you should have the Honda clearance. Okay. Between the, the, the tappet and the top of the valve. Right. So basically, if that was too tight, yeah. when everything gets hot, the valve gets partially held open. Right, okay. Because the rocker is pressing against the base circle of the cam. Got you. If it's too tight, obviously it holds the valve open which loses compression. 
if it's too loose, then the valve doesn't get pushed down far enough. Right. So you either have the valve partially open, or which partially, is compressing, yeah. because it's, it's too tight, mm -hmm. or if it's too loose, then the valve doesn't get pushed down far enough. So far, so good. Inlet valves are lovely on something you want. Sweet. Right, I'm gonna head into the office while uh, Dave's doing me valves and uh, spend some more money, which worth it. Oh, don't stand on splitter. You bodging that, yeah. <laughs> Well, that came to over a thousand pound. Brilliant. But we've got some proper bits for the car now. We're not, I'm not cheaping out on this EP3. This is my car. I'm going to keep it forever. Not cheaping out on it. In the next couple of weeks, the EP3 is going to take a dramatic transformation for the best. And it's going to be like a new car. It really is. I, I can't wait to show you guys what I've bought. I'm going to do a Patreon video unboxing everything that I've got. So you guys that are Patrons, obviously I appreciate it. You guys that are Patrons are going to see everything that I've bought. And yeah, like I said, it's come to a lot of money, but it's going to be worth it. It's, it's worth it. I cannot wait. Let's go see how Dave's doing. She's all done. Cashers are done. Oh, I love the way it makes the bonnet sit so flush. Like it's literally really flush. Because the one thing about EP3 is the bonnets have got a tiny little space, but everything's really flush now. They look amazing, really happy with them. Um, he's done the valve clearances, everything's fine, all sorted, perfect. Uh, so yeah, we're going to uh, pay the guy and hit the road, but I'm very happy. Hopefully, obviously, I need my tracking doing and stuff like that, but this might give you a clue as to what I've bought. I'm not getting it done yet. So, we'll be back here in the next week or two for, uh, for more work being done, which I'm very excited about, but no. Very happy down here, very, very... Dave is such a nice guy, everyone down here is amazing, really friendly, but... Definitely coming back soon. I absolutely love this car, man. <laughs> Do you want to know the best bit? My car's just gone round the block. Oh, is he just taking me out? So if you can stand here and hold all my stuff, that'll be fine. <laughs> and here we have a wild Andy. Oh <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, look how good she looks in the light. She's not even clean. She's ditched. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely in love, man. Okay, so we're pretty much done for the day. Just brought the car out there and even just turning it on with that engine insert feels really, really solid and uh, a lot better to drive now. I just want to say a massive thank you to Motion Motorsport. These are the guys that are going to be helping me build my Civic. Dave is an absolute genius. He can do this stuff with his eyes closed in his sleep. Really nice guy. Literally been speaking all day, having a load of banter and that. And it's just really nice to, to get on with someone that's working on your car, if that makes sense. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the first 100 people to go interact, uh, drop a follow to Motion Motorsport on Instagram. I'm going to follow you back. All you've got to do is go follow them. Screenshot that you followed Motion Motorsport, then I'll drop you a follow. If you need anything done as well, just give them a message on Instagram. Book in, get your stuff done. Work is second to none. It's absolutely phenomenal what they do. I've showed you the cars that they've built. It's absolutely amazing. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this video off here. I hope you guys will enjoy. Look out for the next few weeks because the car is going to transform a lot it's, it's it's really gonna try i've spent a lot of money today and it's going to be worth it in the long run but yeah we'll be back down here in a couple of weeks for some more bits to be installed but yeah if you did enjoy the video please like comment and subscribe i really appreciate all the support i'll see you in the next one peace